Hello. Going to be a really short one this week, um, but uh, after last week where I released a video on navigational tools, I uh, got a lot of great feedback, um, especially with regard to the kind of hacky solution I had in place for um, calculating longitude. So I've spent a bit of time iterating on that and just wanted to give a really quick demo of what direction that's currently heading. So now the chronometer uh, is a more plausible single unit um, that just displays the uh, time at a fixed reference point, uh, the prime meridian, if you will. Um, and uh, it leaves it almost entirely up to the player to uh, sort out the, uh, the rest of the information. To help with that, the handheld compass has now been significantly changed, um, implementing a uh, method for determining your local solar time. Um, I've added a bit of a UI overlay to it, mainly because it's a little difficult to read, um, being a little more visually cluttered. Um, but how this works is you would uh, move the compass to your tr or due north <clears throat> and there is the option to set the angle based on your latitude if you know it um, and to help with things there's an overlay as well so holding down right click will allow you to uh, see the shadow a bit more clearly so you can see we're just about coming up on noon here and our time at the prime meridian is coming right up on eight uh in this case i know that it is coming up on 8 p.m um so that would give us a difference of eight hours and given that this is a Earth-sized planet, that's going to be 15 degrees of uh, longitude per hour. Uh, so as it's ahead of us, that's going to be approximately negative 120 degrees. Um, which, because I set up all the data, I know is correct. Um, but uh, it should be a fairly reliable method of calculating your your uh, longitude uh, so long as you have a clock and remember to check it around noon uh, but yeah the there there's been a few other changes the um, um, quadrant has uh, been re remodeled a bit to uh, clean up the the textures and reduce some flickers uh, on the back end there has been a major change uh, for any of you who are familiar with both unity and uh, the joys of making an open world game in unity um, the world was getting big enough that I was starting to experience the lovely uh, floating point precision errors that get complained about a lot. Um, so I have a solution to that largely in place. Um, and uh, uh, more testing on that still needs to happen, but it, it's working well and doesn't disrupt the, uh, the ability to navigate. Um, so, uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to exactly show that, but things should be quite stable even at extended ranges from whatever your, your local origin is. It's a bit difficult uh, in this project since, unlike a lot of projects, the player is not the, the sort of world route. Uh, in this case, actually, the ships are, um, since the the nature of how a lot of the physics work uh, requires 
the player to be a child of the ship rather than the other way around. Uh, anyway, I don't need to get too technical into that, but uh, the the point is the solution is in place and seems to work pretty well. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go on and on. I just wanted to give a, a brief update on that from a uh, navigation standpoint, um, and I will have a non-navigation based video out in the future. Thank you all for watching.